मर्जर डील्स में भी सेटल्ड इजीली एज वेल एज दीज डील्स में अट्रैक्ट सिग्निफिकेंट रेजिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द स्टॉक होल्डर्स एंड एम्प्लॉयज और मैनेजर्स ऑफ द टारगेट फर्म वी कैन क्लासीफाई सच डील्स इन टू द नेम लाइक फ्रेंडली मर्जर एंड हॉस्टाइल टेक ओवर इन फ्रेंडली टेक ओवर्स जेनरली दीज आर द टेक ओवर इनिशिएटेड बाय द एक्वायरिंग फर्म द इक्वायर डिसाइड्स परचेजिंग एन अदर फर्म देन इट सिलेक्ट द टैक्टिक्स टू मेक द मर्जर इफेक्टिव इट डिटर्मस द हाइस्ट प्राइस इट कैन be willing to pay to the stockholders of the a target firm the acquirer's ceo contacts with the target firm's ceo and proposes a merger if the target firm is receptive the merger eventually can take place but it may requires many meetings over price negotiation payment terms and other parameters target firm's board of director needs managers uh, mergers approval and same is with the acquire acquiring firms so the acquiring firms board of directors is also required to approve this scheme of merger finally the stockholders affirmative vote is needed to materialize the merger hostile takeover a merger offer may get a resistant target firm which means that the acquirer must now decide whether to pursue the merger and if so what tactics the acquirer must use to materialize the merger process the acquirer may take a to hold position which means the buying of the target firms some shares very secretly but this secret buying comes to an end as as soon as when the acquirer's buying plan goes public the share price is rises yielding a premium buying which means that it becomes expensive for the acquirer to buy target firm's shares well above their market price but still the acquirer tries to buy as much as possible in the open market at the price uh, which is a uh, pre filing price and that price is relatively the low acquirer may also make a tender offer and in tender offer it is a direct offer to the target firm's stockholders to buy shares above their ma uh, current market price this tender offer may specify buying of all of the shares tendered to the acquirer in order to control the target firm buying of all of the outstanding shares of the target firm is not necessary with enough amount of stock buying acquirer can sit in the target firm's board of directors in order to appoint managers of its own choice so that the intended merger can take place this means that control is sought Uh, with lesser majority sometimes working controls allow acquirer to buy remaining share shares not already owned by itself this means that now trans this transaction can be treated as a friendly transaction as this transaction is approved by the board of director such type of mergers are often called as clean mergers there is another mode of buying the target firm's share and that is called as street sweep in this mode the acquirer may continue buying more shares in the open market until the control is achieved but it is an un infrequently used strategy as sometime it becomes difficult to buy enough controlling shares also the shares purchased in the open market cannot be returned to their original owners which is possible in the case of tender offer another mode to buy 
uh, to get control of the target firm is called as proxy fight it involves the corporate voting which means that the acquirer hires a proxy solicitor and that solicitor attempts to appeal shareholders prior to their stockholder meeting in order to make a pitch for the acquirer's nominated persons to be elected as directors on the board of the target firm so the winning majority of seats on the board the acquirer can control the target firm